train, our golf training system has two power rollers, a long and a short. The long power roller works to simulate clubs from driver to five iron. The shorter power roller is for simulating swings from six iron to sand iron. You couldn't make, for instance, a wedge swing with the longer roller. So when you start off using this planer, I recommend you use the longer of the two rollers. Later on, we'll be using the shorter roller for the shorter clubs and for short game drills. Stepping in to explain our carefully, I rest the power roller at the base of the hoop. We only want two or three inches of the roller sticking below the rail. If you rest the tip of the roller on the ground, you'll catch the roller on the floor, you might bend it and hurt yourself, and we don't want that to happen. So make sure that the club rests on the hoop, three or four inches protruding only, then you build the grip, fist and fingers, and last of all, you take your stance. Also, it's important to note that I'm standing centrally in the machine. You can see on the central stance mat that there's a black line. We don't want the feet off to my left or off to my right. Whatever stance I take, the black centre line should be in the middle of the feet. If the roller is rest at the base of the hoop and you build your grip, that will lead you to getting the black line between your feet. A wide driver stance, for instance, or a narrow wedge stance, if you start off with an intermediately wide stance, about shoulder width apart, and you get comfortable, and then you can check the work you did earlier with the plane sensor. You can rest the power roller across your chest and just double check that the plane is going through the sternum, just two inches below the top of the sternum. Now we're ready to show you how the swing itself works. I used to think the golf swing is about a thousand different pieces, but what Explainer shows is that if I make a golf swing, it actually undoes in only three. Half my swing is a shoulder turn, quarter of my swing is a forearm movement, and a quarter is my wrist hinge. There are only three pieces. Just look at that again. A wrist hinge of 90 degrees, a forearm rotation of 90 degrees, and a shoulder turn of 90 degrees. Those three elements will keep repeating throughout this video. The shoulders, the forearms, and the wrists are the key components. But also, you get three for the price of two. If you work the shoulders and wrists correctly, in Explainer, you'll get the forearms for free. So no matter what level of golfer, this is a great starting point for building a swing or correcting an old swing or maintaining your best swing. Offer the roller, build a grip, fist and fingers, and then take your stance. You can see that I've created a letter Y shape. The roller and my arms are the letter Y. And if I use my arms, shoulders and hands, I can start to swing the power roller gently on the explainer. Now, although the roller is heavy, most of the weight is supported by the explainer system itself. Now, you can see that my shoulders are allowing the arms and the hands to swing nice and freely. And after a little while, you should be able to get to the halfway point. Sort of 9 o'clock on the hands of the clock this way, and 3 o'clock coming through. Try to avoid the arms rolling excessively. That's an incorrect movement. It's vital that the shoulders, arms and hands work together. Smooth and wide. Whatever you do, don't be tempted to swing the club at full speed. If you do that, you're likely to bend the roller on the ground or for the roller to drop off the machine. You could hurt yourself and you won't get the best results. Explainer gives you the best results when the power roller is swung wide and smooth and very, very slowly. Let's just go through those points again. Offer the roller, build the grip and take the stance. We initiate the swing with the roller, hands and arms working together, the Y shirt working back and through. If you do it smoothly and correctly and wide, you'll notice also that the hips and the legs start to move a little bit as well, without too much thought. This movement is the platform and the foundation of all the other movements that we're going to make.